up guys, it's Nicole, also known as Nikki Vegan, and in today's video, we're gonna be making pancake cereal. Pancake cereal is a recipe that went viral on TikTok recently, and even though I'm a bit of a grandma when it comes to TikTok and what the kids are doing on the internet, even I saw it, so you know it's a really big deal, and I thought it'd be really fun to show you how to make a vegan version, but not just a vegan version. We're gonna do three different kinds of pancake cereal in today's video. All of them are super easy, really delicious, and really fun. That's what I love about this recipe. It's a fun, whimsical, lighthearted approach to pancakes, which are already a pretty fun food in my opinion. So I hope you guys are excited about this recipe. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's totally free, and it's a great way to keep up with my recipes. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, so instead of using eggs in our pancakes, we're gonna make a flax egg. And if you guys have seen my videos before, you know that I really make a point of doing this at the beginning of the baking process, just because they do need to set for five to 10 minutes to become gel and egg-like. And I hate having to wait around for things to set, so I do this first, and then I go ahead and prepare the other ingredients while the flax and water hangs out and mingles and becomes egg-like, and that way it's ready for me when I need it, not the other way around. So I'm just gonna combine flaxseed and water in a small bowl, stir it together, and then set that aside. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and start the dry ingredients. So for these pancakes, I'm just using regular all-purpose flour. You can also use whole wheat flour if that's what you have. But whenever you're measuring flour, you wanna make sure that you use your scooper to kind of aerate the flour before you measure it because sometimes it can get kind of densely packed into the container or the bag, and that will mean that you're actually measuring out a little bit more flour than you need. And then you could end up with kind of a drier pancake or cookie or cake or whatever it is you're making. So we're gonna add the flour to a bowl along with some sugar. This isn't gonna make the pancakes sweet it's just gonna help encourage a little bit of browning so you get a nice golden brown color on the outside of your pancake then this is important you want to go ahead and whisk your dry ingredients together to make sure that everything is well incorporated and distributed you don't want to have some parts of the flour that have baking powder and some that don't so just take a couple seconds whisk this up and set it aside in a different mixing bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and add some soy milk. You can also use almond milk or oat milk if you like. And at this point, you'll see that the flax mixture looks totally different than it did before. It's a lot thicker and creamier, so you can go ahead and add that into your milk as well. And then I'm adding some melted vegan butter and also some vanilla extract. Vanilla extract is so good in pancakes and it really just smells so good the second you open the container and add it into the bowl. It just makes the kitchen smell so good. And I have to say, the smell of pancakes cooking is one of the best parts of making pancakes, in my opinion. So once you've whisked that together, you can go ahead and incorporate the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. And you wanna whisk this together, but don't over mix it. If you over mix it, you're gonna end up with really tough pancakes. So you just wanna mix until this is combined, but it's still a little bit lumpy. Then another thing that's important that is usually kind of a drag, but it actually helps a lot, is to make sure that you let the batter rest a little bit, at least 10 minutes, but you could even do this overnight. Now on TikTok, I saw that people were using all kinds of pastry bags and squirt bottles like this, but I tested a couple different ways and found that you could even just use a spoon, so you don't have to have any kind of fancy equipment. I happen to have these really nice little squirt bottles that I got at Target. I will link them below because I use these for all kinds of things, now for pancakes, but before it used to be for any kind of homemade dressing or sauce or even a pourable frosting. It just gives you a lot of control so you can do a zigzag or you can do polka dots. And so I went ahead and I put the pancake batter into my little squeeze bottle. So then I went ahead and I started experimenting. At first I started with some smaller sizes, maybe the size of a dime, and it's really important to go around the outside of the pan first where the heat is a little bit cooler and work your way to the inside because these are all gonna get turned at the same time, so the ones in the center need to cook a little bit faster. By the way guys, full disclosure, you should know that on the day that I was filming this recipe, I was not only testing different techniques, but also different pancake recipes. So the next couple of clips you're gonna see are of some fluffy pancakes. You're also gonna see some flatter pancakes. That is because I was kind of experimenting until I found the perfect pancake recipe for pancake cereal, which I believe I found, and that is the one that's waiting for you in the description box below. These got nice and fluffy and golden brown, but like I said, 
Not all of the shots are of the same pancake batter, so just keep that in mind. Once they've puffed up a bit, I like to add a little bit of vegan butter. This is optional, but I saw it in the TikTok video, so I thought we'd keep it authentic. And this is also going to add a nice flavor to your pancakes and create a little bit more browning, which is nice as well. You only need about a teaspoon in the pan, and then I actually found that these were kind of hard to flip individually like I saw online, so I just kind of stirred them together, and later on you're going to see I experimented with chopsticks and stuff too. All kinds of tips to share with you, but first let's talk about using a spoon. If you're going to use a spoon, it's a little bit easier to make like quarter-sized pancakes, and I actually really liked having different sizes in the cereal bowl and for the finished product. If you're using a spoon though, one of the tips I found really helpful is to not fill up the whole spoon with batter. Just get about a third or a half of a spoonful onto your spoon before you, you know, put it into the pan, and that will give you a little bit more control. You can't really tell how tiny these are on camera, but these are so small and cute. Even though they're bigger than the other ones, they're still really, really tiny, and there's just something really fun and lighthearted about making the tiniest pancakes. So like I said, I did experiment with using chopsticks. This wasn't the easiest method, but I did feel like I had a little bit more control when it came to flipping the individual pancakes, and again, it was fun. So I do recommend trying it out. The only thing that was a little tricky is sometimes it would stick if the top of the pancake was still kind of wet before flipping it over. But overall, it's a good technique, something you might want to try. But once these are browned on both sides, they are ready to plate. And to be honest with you, I only added more butter just for the photo because I wanted it to look like the original, but these already have a little bit of melted butter on them and I actually like it better that way because it gets really evenly coated. And then I just put a generous amount of maple syrup for this first round of pancakes. But for my second round, I did a little something different. So what I did here was I made the exact same batter, but I also added a little bit of almond extract. So just a couple of drops because almond extract is much more potent and strong than vanilla extract, but the combination of vanilla and almond extract together is so good. And then I topped it off with some vegan chocolate chips, a few sprinkles, or maybe a lot of sprinkles, and some maple syrup. And this was the most visually aesthetically pleasing one that I made because honestly it just looked like happiness in a bowl like so cheerful so fun Now the next one I did is a lemon blueberry. So to the batter I also added almond extract and then I also added about a half a teaspoon of cardamom. You could also do cinnamon if you like but I think cardamom and lemon is just such a delicious combination. And so I went ahead and I added the zest and a little squeeze of fresh lemon juice. And this is going to create a kind of a glaze on top of the pancakes because instead of syrup I went ahead and I did some powdered sugar. I love doing a dusting of powdered sugar and a little squeeze of lemon because they're already coated in the butter. So you get kind of like almost like a little tiny bit of frosting on each pancake and it is so, so good. Especially because you have the tart, bright lemon flavor and then you've got blueberries and this combination was super delicious. Cardamom and pancakes, so good. The recipe for these pancakes and the variations are going to be written out in the description box below, so make sure you check that out if you want to make these pancakes at home. I highly recommend because not only was this a fun process, but it was a very, very tasty one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share with a friend or family member who might find this fun to do as well. It's a really great way to celebrate any occasion, especially now that we are all still in lockdown, still in quarantine, and I think sometimes having something fun to look forward to, a new recipe to try, or a new food that we've never made before, that can be just a little bright spot in your day. So go ahead and share with people. Share your pictures on Instagram too. Make sure you tag me so I can check them out. I would love to see your recreations, and I will see you guys in a video very soon. Bye.